Hey, what's up, everybody? My name is Trophy Nuts, the Babbling Belgian, and welcome to Destiny 2 Adventure Time. Um, in this little mini series, I think I can call it a mini series, I'm gonna do the something called adventures in Destiny 2. Uh, adventures are sort of these little side quests in between that I think most people uh, skimmed over just uh, because. Well, most people have probably completed the campaign and all the strike missions and stuff like that, but since those adventures are completely optional and don't reward all that much, I think most people must have uh, skimmed over them. So uh, I'm going to do all of them, starting with the first one here on the European Dead Zone. In general, adventures expand the story of Destiny 2 a lot more than just the base story in the campaign and in the strike missions. So we get to know a few of the side characters a bit better, as well as how they manipulate some of the uh, enemy groups into, uh, well, fighting each other. So more on that later. I'm gonna do all of them, starting with the EDZ. So there's uh, a lot of them on, I think there's about 30 or 40 of them in total which are all going to be one episode. There's going to be one each episode, but we're going to start on the EDZ and then work our way towards the other planets and doing all of them per planet, starting with the lower levels and going up from there. The first one is right here. It's called Poor Reception and is about, well, the uh, refugees on the European Dead Zone struggling because the communications are jammed by the Fallen, which we're going to meet in person in a second. Don't worry if you're not familiar with Destiny, I'll try to explain as much as I can, especially about the characters we'll be talking to. Getting some weird feedback on the comms. Dev, did you put your teacup on the broadcast switch again? Looks like these fallen shanks are rerouting the signal. Try dismantling one and taking a close look at the insides. So dismantling one I think means shooting one, destroying one completely. Although that doesn't seem to be doing much. And, oh, what the? Wow, okay, these guys are doing a hell of a lot of... Okay then. So I was just about to say that I'm completely over-leveled for this adventure, because the adventure is uh, suited for a power level 20, and I'm power level 295 with my Titan. But apparently Destiny scales the enemies up to your level, clearly. Um, yeah, there we are again. Let's hit that guy in the face, and here we go again. So I'm currently playing as a Sunbreaker Titan, which is going to be the character I'm going to use for these adventures. So quickly going to set up a wall here to protect me a bit. And yeah, that also explains my uh, ability to O. That seems like a public event coming in. I'm going to completely ignore that and keep shooting things in the face. So it's clear that we need to take over one of these antenna instead of just destroying it like I did before in one of the other missions. So I'm just gonna put down a wall here because it feels like a bit more harder. Yeah, it's a bit harder than I anticipated. So, um, wow, these guys really don't want me to get their communication towers here. Um, but we're almost done capturing the antenna here. So that should progress the story a bit further. It's also faction rally this week, so that's uh, the reason why I'm getting those extra tokens over there on the right. This core, it's acting as a kind of broadband amplifier. Their signal is blocking transmissions all across the dial. After all the work you did setting up Soraya's broadcast, that just won't do. There's a signal antenna nearby. I can use the core to try to find the source of whatever the Fallen are doing. So thanks for the motivational input there, guys. So we just heard two characters. So Soraya Hawthorne was the woman you heard when we started the adventure. And she is the leader of the, well, the kind of survivors outside of the lost city where the traffic is. And then we have Devram K, who is your contact in the European Dead Zone, who's a sniper. He's a uh, homosexual man. It's actually confirmed in the dialogue that he is. And he's a Britishman that is fond of tea, um, ironically enough. But uh, enough dilly-dallying and shooting people in the face. Let's head towards that antenna we need to defend. So there we go, right there next to that shiny purple light is the antenna we need to defend. Why do you think they're trying to jam us, Dev? They missed their opportunity to take over this area after our friend touched the shard. And now they're too scared to fight us head on. Typical fallen. 
So the shard is where we as the player character, as the guardian, reclaimed our powers. I think we're going to see that in one of the later adventures. Um, so that's why the Fallen and I are trying to, uh, well, jam the communications of the survivors. The, connect. the Fallen are jamming us. Okay, what does that mean? Do we need to do something specifically here? Or... Okay, there it goes again. So I'm assuming I need to kill something specifically. I think that Marauder I killed is probably the guy that's jamming the communications. Um, so we're here at the tower to find the source of whatever is jamming the communications of the survivors on the EDZ. Um, and maybe now that we're at it, let's talk about the weapons I'm using. I'm currently using the hand cannon you see in my hand. It's called Better Devils, which is a weapon that most of the Crucible players, the PvP players of Destiny will probably know. It's a hand cannon that has explosive rounds, which makes it very handy to kill off smaller mobs with a few shots, mostly, usually even a single shot. Um, my other weapon I'm using, the one I'm carrying right now, is Hard Light. It's an auto rifle, an energy auto rifle, that does not have fall off on the round, so they always go straight ahead. They also penetrate enemies, so as you can see, if I shoot through one enemy, the bullet just keeps going, and it bounces off hard surfaces, which is another interesting thing, because Hard Light has a special ability which I'll show you right now, because you can actually change the elemental type on hard light. So right now it's an arc hard light, but I can actually change that to solar, for example, which causes the weapon to now do solar damage instead of arc damage. You can also swap, swap it to void, which is the third elemental type in Destiny 2. So let's mop up these last guys. Okay, got a few more tokens there, probably a challenge on the EDC that I completed. Um, but we're all... oh shit, grenade. There we go finish off the, the remaining guys underground. Deep underground. that figures fall in love dark places especially with the red legion all over the dead zone that's interesting because that means that the fallen are really really afraid of the red legion as well so the cabal that have infiltrated the tower let's pick up everything i can find here and uh, continue on our path and look for the cave that the fallen are hiding in i'm also carrying a rocket launcher as you can see haven't used it uh, in this video yet but maybe i'll get the chance in a minute so it looks like we're going towards the edge of the map oh okay yeah i kind of missed there but <laughs> let's just shoot him in the face um where the hell am I going? Because I don't... I have never been this far out in the map yet. Is there... Ooh. There's a lost sector in here. This tunnel looks promising. Yeah, indeed it does. Because that means we can... That's a lost sector I haven't seen yet. So that lost sectors are like mini dungeons which feature their own uh, mini boss and the loot chest at the end of it. And they're usually quite hidden in the uh, overworld of each planet. There's a few of them on each planet. We're definitely on the right track. Fallen banners indeed. So that means we're definitely on the right track. Scavengers then. Okay, that's the name of this. What the hell? Where the hell is this going? This is like a little side area. Ooh, that is nice. It's like a star-struck night in this cave. What are those lights on the ceiling? Well, there's not much here, so I guess we'll better continue on the path we were going towards. So I'm guessing the fallen behind this are in here, but I just want to take a moment to show you my armor. So I'm actually equipped with the Hallow Fire Heart Armor, which is uh, handy for me because it improves the recharge rate of my solar ability. So my grenade and melee once my super is charged. So I get my grenades and fire melee back really quickly. So let's show you that and hit that guy with a sticky. My uh, solar kills also leave a sunspot, which gives me a few more extra boosts on top of everything else. So if I just keep in there and explode everything to bits, I should be fine. What is that over there? There's like a purple shield blocking the way forward. I'm guessing... Okay, bypass the barrier. That's what I was uh, planning to do. Let's take hard light and take out the sniper over there. Okay, hi. Let's get you punched in the face. Down with you. A few more shanks. Finish them off with better devils. There we go, very handy to kill those uh, pesky mobs. But now, how do we get past that shield? 
Um, hmm. Seems like there's a few more enemies. Yeah, down there. Let's get, ooh, blue, blue loot, blue Angram. Okay, defeat the captain. Let's kill his shanks already from this uh, distance. Yeah, he's really mad at me, but I can easily dodge his bullets from here. Just gonna kill that vandal over there. And let's go kick that uh, captain in the face. Pick up the loot on the way. Why not, eh? And then we should make quick work of this guy just to stick you in the face. And then shoot him dead. There we go. They're really built up down here. We need to remember this place after we retake the city. So we can clear it out for good. Or we could let the fallen have their creepy caves. And not sacrifice more people. And there we have Hawthorne, of course, protecting her people so they... She doesn't want to lose any more people. So there was one drag still over there. That captain we just killed was called the Voltaic Captain. Must have been the guy holding up the shield. And that's why we took down the barrier by killing the Voltaic Captain. So I'm going to assume we're going to find another one. Okay, there we go. More explosive barrels. Those uh, explosive things on the right we just passed is for the uh, faction rally as well. You can get tokens from that. Although it doesn't seem to be working this time. Probably because I'm not on the correct planet for the faction rally. Because that makes sense. Let's uh, get up there. Ooh, another Marauder. There we go. Few headshots. Punch him. Punch him. Don't, don't whiff. Just punch him. There we go. Punches all around. And uh, is that a cat? No, still a... Ooh, there's a Volte Captain. Hi. Sticky? You want a sticky? Oh, that missed. Oh, God. Almost killed myself there. Uh, okay, yeah. He's gonna die in my sunspot. There we go. So that took down the shield again. With that shield down, I can finally get a read on the source. It's close. The source is close. So maybe because the shields are linked to a certain... Ca Ooh, that guy looks creepy. Like that. That Marauder. Is that a blade sticking out of his wrist? Is that connected to him or not? Well, never mind. So because the... Ooh. Traps. I'm not going to get to make my point here, right? There we go. Let's take out that seems like there's more where that came from oh wow that was i think that laser was pointing in my direction there let's be careful and take out the ones over yeah over there there we go so since the barriers were linked to the voltaic captains maybe there's a captain hidden over here that is linked to the um the jammer wow look at this this is cool i have never been here like a little open area in the cave. There's even a drop ship over there, dropping down, and a broken down tank. This is it. Hold them off, and I'll use that shank core to shut down the signal remote. Well, Ghost said this is it. So here we go. Let's go crazy with the hammers and blow up some freaking fallen. Oh, there's the the captain. I suppose he just jumped down. Where did he go? There he is. Oh, oh, wait, what was his name? For the wait, what? The blind captain? Is he really blind? Graxus, the blind just captain. Yeah, Ghost, I know, just a little longer. Probably just need to kill the captain and then you'll miraculously have fixed everything. This is going great with better devils, though. Come on. Oh, he's running away. There's the loot chest, by the way. Okay. Where the... Hi. Yeah, let's explode the barrel. Did he just... No? What? Was that him? Jesus, he's just running around, is he? If I would hit him, that would be fine. There he goes. The fire killed him. And that allows us to open up the loot chest as well. Just before you took out that captain, I fried all their broadcast capabilities. No more jamming. That means people will be coming to the farm from all over the planet. Once we get that last relay set up, we can reach out to the rest of the system. Then we can start rallying guardians to strike back against the Red Legion. There will be plenty of time for both. For now, head back here when you can, you two. And that's it. Looks like the jammer has been completely destroyed. The Well, we can start recruiting guardians, although I completed the campaign and killed Gaul and the Red Legion alongside with him. But hey, never mind that. Let's open up the loot chest and see what we get. Two blue items, uh, a Titan Mark, and it looks like an assault rifle, I think. Ross Lysis and a few more uh, of the tokens. Anything else here? Doesn't seem like it. Um, well, with that done, I uh, hope you guys enjoyed it. 
because I did, because uh, I think we're going to have a lots of fun with these little adventures. It's going to be all short episodes like this one. Uh, if you enjoyed it, don't forget to do like this video and let me know in the comments what you think about this little series. I'm going to try and experiment with a few new things in the future, but uh, you'll see it when it gets there. So thanks again enormously for watching and I hope to see you next time on Adventure Time.